I would say young coach doesn't have philosophy, he's got opinion. So I got to survive in this business for quite a while to, they, they can say this is my philosophy. And um, uh, at this point, as, uh, as, uh, since I'm starting something new, I have to adjust to, to the strength that we have. And there is no perfect team. Every team in, in the world, in any team sports, you have weaknesses and strength, and your job is to emphasize your strength. So we have a lot of tools, a lot of weapons, a lot of, a lot of uh, things that myself as a coach I can, I can play in and use. And uh, so we definitely, uh, we believe in numbers. We, we believe in pace, but pace ne necessarily doesn't mean winning games. Think about last year, we were number one in pace and second in fast break points, and we were still 30th in, in our defensive efficiency. So as a team who is trying to establish himself and we, we, we don't have a luxury to turn off, to turn that switch off and on, we have to play hard every night. So believe in defense, we need the defensive stops. We can transfer those defensive stops in the numbers, in the points, in fast break points. I haven't put the ball in the hoop. So the only thing I can do is probably just let my game talk, you know, just compete. I've texted Steve Nash a few times, and, you know, he's always just giving me, every time I text him, he's just the biggest advice ever, you know. It's in a big paragraph, but, you know, I sit down and read it. It's an honor. You know, I'm, I would get to wake up and, and do what I want to do, the sport that I love and the job that I love every day. Um, and to be known as the, you know, face of a franchise is something that, you know, I've put a lot of work into um, and prepared myself for. So, you know, I want to represent the city, you know, to the best of my ability, this franchise, this organization, you know, to the best of my ability. And, you know, I try to do that every day I wake up. You know, I come in here, you know, I know I'm not only representing myself and my last name, but, you know, in terms of stroke, more reps, um, and just trying to make sure I shoot the same shot every time. You know, when you look at some of the best shooters in the league, I think, uh, Clay Thompson, Steph Curry, you see they shot, they shoot the same shot every time. No matter where they at, it looks the same. So just keeping that. <laughs> but no, we are definitely looking forward to helping uh, this organization win. Um, that's, a, that's a big thing for myself, him, Devin, the players here. We want to win. We want to change, you know, the, the narrative of the Phoenix Suns that has been of late. We want to be a winning team. We want to uh, show t people that uh, we are winners and that we can compete for anything. Championship level, playoffs, whatever it is, we want to be that team. So we finally made the playoffs the fourth year. We made the playoffs my fourth and fifth year because we, you know, the young players finally made that step and they put together the right veterans around us to help kind of like corral us in the right direction. Um, but I think this team has more talent to be quite honest, um, you know, because it's again, at every position is a, is a, is a challenge. And, you know, we had young, bright spots, but not like this. You know, these, these guys, you know, really have a chance to build something special together. Um, and so many of them. And now, finally, you know, we got enough veterans around here and, you know, mid-level guys who have experience, you know, to kind of bridge the gap from just me and a bunch of, <laughs> you know, a bunch of rooks. And now it's about, okay, it's, it's time to win some basketball games. And, and that being said, you know, you're going to have to lean on your vets throughout the season because I don't know if this league has ever seen, you know, just a young team win games. You always have to have vets sprinkled in it.